love it. And if you don't love it, don't touch it. And if you hate it, it is because you had a very bad teacher. I make every student, and not only at MIT, but all over the world, I make them love physics. You can read that in my book, you should buy it. Make sure that your feet are off the ground. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, Simon, I'm going to beat you with a caterpillar. <laughs> Let me just start beating you a little bit. <laughs> to make you feel at home. We know each other, right? Okay. Now Are you ready? But I will stress the concepts, and I will make you see beyond the equations, beyond the concepts. I will show you, whether you like it or not, that physics is beautiful. And you may even start to like it. Look at the tinsels. And try not to look at me, please. Go ahead. I am now a living electroscope. not much I can do about it. Very difficult to get charge off. So induction takes place. Remember that the yellow is pointing towards the vendogram and that the orange is away from the vendogram. And I break contact and this should now be a dipole. Now I turn on the field of the So if the polarity is the same, yellow will go in. Turn is the vendogram, and we have to put a little bit of charge on that balloon. It will probably do that by itself, but I can always give it a little kick so that it goes to the vendogram. There it goes. Oh, I had some. Because my, my glasses are a good insulator, so I better take my glasses off. So that every time it hits me, changes polarity.
Okay. A more personal question. I was just wondering, like, what inspired you to become such a great professor? Why is what? What inspired you to become a professor and a great one at that? Oh, that was luck. <laughs> I think I was always eccentric. <laughs> it's true. And so, from day one, my lectures were always different from the mean. That pop, pop, pop. It's not a steady stream. It's almost pathetic the way that it runs from one side to the other. It will take minutes before it's there. But it can be done in 17 seconds. And during the five minute intermission that we have, you may give it a try. And I hope you won't break it. You have very special brains, but you're going to see colors. Look at this. Now, the colors are not spectacular. My goodness, what do you expect? How much did you pay for this lecture, right? <laughs> but the inner circle is distinctly rusty brown, reddish brown, and the outer one, to me, looks dark blue, and then there is the second one from inside out, looks a little grayish green, and then the third one...